As 2023 nears the end, a sinister high-profile case of a rare mental illness and manipulation is being surfaced again. An anxious young woman, Gypsy Rose Blanchard, will be eligible for parole in December. The princess outfit's now replaced with an orange jumpsuit. Most people who go to jail for murder are indeed found guilty, but this is not 100% the case with Gypsy. The big question, is she a murderer or is she a victim? Local teenage hero Gypsy Rose Blanchard could be the most unlikely murder suspect ever. Gypsy Rose Blanchard, now 33 years old, is aiming to get a shot at living a normal life. Normal is not a word Gypsy Rose grew up with. Gypsy has been living in a prison cell since 2016, but in fact has technically been in prison her whole life. The only person I need to protect you from is her. I'm trying to be a good person now. I don't want to be like my mother. Imagine living your whole life thinking you have an expiration date, only to find out that in fact you're a healthy young girl deprived of a normal childhood due to your mother. Gypsy Rose was the daughter of a single mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, who from the outside looked like she was the most loving parent. Gypsy Rose experienced many health conditions since she was a baby. I'm going to Children's Mercy Hospital. The story of a single mother raising a severely disabled daughter gained lots of media attention and the community raised money for the Blanchards. It just proves that happy endings are not just in fairy tales, they're real and true in real life also. Gypsy was a charming girl with huge glasses, toothless, and wore different colored wigs to hide her baldness from chemotherapy. She was like one of the happiest people I had ever met, and yet yeah, she was the most sick that I had ever met at the same time. Nobody expected what would come next. On June the 14th, 2015, Dee Dee Blanchard was found dead in her bed, stabbed, and Gypsy Rose was nowhere to be seen. The police found Dee Dee's body through vulgar Facebook posts that were uploaded onto Gypsy and Dee Dee's joint account. A huge missing person launch team had begun and the community was devastated. The police tracked down the IP address from the Facebook posts and it led them to a man named Nicholas Goddijon. We started hearing from various sources that Gypsy wasn't a victim, she wasn't kidnapped, that she was actually involved in this somehow. After further research, it was found that Nicholas was in fact Gypsy's online boyfriend. They had been virtually dating for three years but this was a secret kept from Dee Dee due to her overprotectiveness. How would you describe your mom? A little overprotective. When the police arrived at Nick's house in Wisconsin, they took him in for questioning where he admitted to murdering Dee Dee. And I'll admit it, I did actually stab her, I will admit it. What was even crazier is that Gypsy asked Nick to kill Dee Dee. Detectives found that Nick was on the spectrum and had a very low IQ, meaning he didn't really think this murder through. He functions at about a 15 or 16 year old. They shortly after brought her in for questioning. The girl looked 12, sounded five, and had a 40 year old attitude. She ended up later admitting that she did ask Nick to kill her mother. Whose idea was it to kill your mother? Mine. Nick was charged with first degree murder and Gypsy with second degree murder. She received 10 years of imprisonment with option for parole. How do you plead to the class A felony of murder in the second degree? Guilty. Investigators started to unravel that this whole story was a scam. Dee Dee Blanchard was exaggerating her daughter's medical condition for financial gain. Psychologists believe that Dee Dee was in fact the sick one with a rare mental condition called Munchausen by proxy. This is a psychological condition where someone fabricates illness onto someone else, usually to gain attention and money. Could she have been over medicating you to keep you weak? It's a possibility. The scariest thing is that Dee Dee was able to convince doctors that Gypsy was sick and sometimes even performed surgery. But how on earth do you deceive medical professionals time and time again? I'm not sure I understand that. She was able to do this because she had a background as a nurse's assistant. I just don't understand how somebody can do this to their child. With regards to Gypsy's father, Rod Blanchard, he claims he tried to meet with Gypsy but Dee Dee never allowed it. She would tell Gypsy such awful things about her father. In Rod's eyes, he never knew Gypsy to be ill. Perfectly healthy, pretty little baby, named her Gypsy Rose. I was excited and very scared, nothing wrong with her. While Gypsy's in jail, Rod and his current wife come to visit her. Daddy, I understand that we haven't had a chance to get close and know that I'm still your little girl. They are worried about her upcoming possibility of release due to the fact that she won't participate in therapy sessions. Her choice of men is worrisome as well as she's already been in three relationships in prison, even marrying one. 
However, serving time has allowed Gypsy to complete a self-fulfillment course and write a book about her story. She saw her story being told while Joey King portrayed Gypsy Rose. You do have a compelling story, but you're not anywhere near equipped to tell it at this point. 